fundamentalist belief, uh, uh, painting or music or representation of any kind is taboo is not true at all. This is a belief that has to be shattered. This is, it is, it's a misconception, in fact, which has to be destroyed. And therefore, I feel that our participation as Indian Muslims, and India is, strictly speaking, not considered a, a country where, where so much Muslim culture resides, uh, mistakenly so. We, we, we are very uh, privileged and happy to be here and to contribute our bit to the awareness of uh, what Islam has to offer culturally uh, and aesthetically. I certainly hope that a new perception comes about and there is no reason why it shouldn't. Um, it's not only the, the, the Arab countries which are the, uh, uh, the strongholds, or so to say, of Islam. There are also very many liberal Muslim beliefs. There are very many liberal Muslims, uh, perhaps outnumbering the fundamentalists. And I hope that the fact that, that most of the Muslim world does not sympathize and does not uh, uh, condone the bloodletting that's happening in the name of Islam uh, all over the world. There is a lot more to it and we hope that we can contribute a little, if nothing else, at least make a beginning uh, about an awareness in the West that Islam is a literate uh, a religion which values, uh, which values aesthetics and which values the right uh, principles. And as for the impact that this performance will have, it's difficult to say because even in India where Urdu is spoken widely, people have a little bit of trouble understanding the nuances of the language in Dastan Goi. It's not a language that is spoken anymore, by and large. But there is something about the cadences, there is something about the, the recitation, if done with purity and with, 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 with uh, uh, fidelity, that, is, that creates just magical patterns of sound. It, it, it would be like listening to uh, poetry in a language you don't understand. If I were to hear poetry in Spanish or, or poetry in, in Persian, I, I, I perhaps wouldn't need to understand it to appreciate the, the aesthetics of it. Um, of course, an understanding of it would, would help, but that's perhaps hoping for too much. We are coming to America not just as tourists, not just to look at the Statue of Liberty, but to interact with, with people here to get across to them and let them and let them into our, our hearts, so to say. And hopefully uh, the reverse will also happen. I think that um, the Muslim, um, a lot of Muslims around the world are unaware of their own history. They're unaware of their own background. They're unaware where they, they came from. And a lot of Muslims are content to parrot what has been taught to them by the priests, by their parents, which is in fact a very narrow, uh, 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 version of what the Quran teaches. I, I don't think I have met um, um, uh, anyone in India, of my generation at least, who understands the Quran. So the problem does not only lie with the perception of Muslims. The problem lies with their perception of themselves. And I think that a festival like this can help remind them. Uh, and it's it's funny that, that Muslims who, who come here from India tend to turn a little more fundamentalist when they come here. They tend to cling on a little tighter to, to, to beliefs which they should really abandon. Once they come here, I think it's, it's the fear of being so far from home, uh, perhaps uh, further away from paradise than they were, and that kind of scares them. And I think it's very important, this, this festival is important not only uh, uh, for those who are curious about Islam, but it's important for Muslims themselves to realize uh, uh, how rich an identity they actually have. So viewers, I have the results of last week's contest in my hand. The five lucky winners are Abit Chaudhary from USA, Kiran Malhotra from India, Ashkar Khan from Multan, Shabazz Mohammed from UK, and Sarak Pal from the Middle East. Also, if you would like to be featured on our show, you can join our Facebook group called Be A Star on a Pakistani TV Show. <laughs> 
तो जी हाँ अभी आज का कॉन्टेस्ट में आप लोगों को बता दूं आज का कॉन्टेस्ट ये है कि आपको सिर्फ हमें ये बताना है कि नसीुद्दीन शाह साहब ने कौन सी फिल्म में शाहरुख खान के डैड प्ले किया था इन विच मूवी वॉज प्लेइंग डैड टू शाहरुख खान मतलब किस फिल्म में उनके फादर थे आपको अगर इसका जवाब आता है तो आप हमको पाकिस्तान में रहते हैं तो एस करें टू टू फोर और अगर आप पाकिस्तान से बाहर रहते हैं तो डी पी एट आग डॉट करके अपना जवाब दीजिए रेंडमली सेलेक्टेड पांच सही जवाब देने वाले लोगों को नजीरुद्दीन शाह साहब की डीवीडी कलेक्शन मिलेगी पांच पांच डीवीडी के पांच सेट हैं जो हम लोग सही जवाब देने वाले रैंडमली सिलेक्टेड पांच लोगों को देंगे और अगर आप लोगों को लगता है कि आप में कोई टैलेंट है तो आप लोग हमारा फेसबुक का ग्रुप देसी गॉट टैलेंट जाके ज्वाइन कीजिए और देन अगर आप लोग हमें अपना फीडबैक दीजिए अगर आप लोग पाकिस्तान में है तो एस कीजिए नंबर टू पे और अगर आप पाकिस्तान से बाहर है तो ई कीजिए डी पी एड आर्ग डॉट टीवी पर We're also going to a fashion show, so keep a look out for that. That's nice, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, actually, आज इस एपिसोड में दास्तान गोई पे इतनी बातचीत हुई है कि मेरी आंखें खुल गईं सीरियसली एंड आई वुड I would probably use it in most of my, you know. अंशब तुमने कहा तुम्हारी आंखें खुल गईं. Is there a chance किसी तरह तुम्हारा मुंह बंद हो सके? एक सेकंड. Yeah, you cannot say that on the show. No, yeah. I just said it on the show. No, yeah. no I just said it on the show. Yeah. अच्छा कैमरा बंद करो यार. देगी है. अरे एक्सप्रेशन दे रहा हूँ यार मैं क्या ऐसे चुप बैठा रहूँगा. शूट मैंने कितना लंबा बोला इट जस्ट मोटिवेट्स देम टू वाओ कीप इट अलाइव बोल देती ना ये यू एक्चुअली सेड मैनहैटन मुल्तान मुल्तान और मैनहैटन नहीं चल और मिक्का तो 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 घर पे आएगा अह मिक्का सिंह इज गोना बी कमिंग टू अ फैशन शो सो मेक श्योर यू वाच दैट नो तुम्हें किसी ने बताया मिक्का सिंह फैशन शो में आ रहा है